Hi, Sam from Guitar Village here and we're back with the Weekly Roundup. If you haven't seen the Weekly Roundup before, basically we take five of the hottest new bits of gear in, grab them off the shelf and talk about them a bit. So, let's get into the first one. Follow me downstairs. Now, most weeks we've been featuring a lot of pre-owned gear and this time actually there's only a couple of bits in here we're going to talk about. We've had a couple of uh, second-hand Sire guitars in. So both Larry Carlton models, we've got a T7 and an L7. Both of these are very cool. We don't actually deal with side guitars, so it's kind of nice to have a couple of these in just to check them out, because we don't tend to sort of get our hands on these type of things. Let's head on through and check out a couple of Martins we've had in. So, next up, the Martins in question. They're a couple of the uh, X series. They're black finished ones, so they're like a satin black finish. We have got the DX1 and the OX1. Now, I absolutely love O size models. I think they're really cool, loads of fun to sit with. You know, if you want to sit on the sofa for hours just noodling away on a guitar, you can't beat one of these little O-sized bodies, they're so comfy. Where shall we start? Let's go. Uh, let's go Eastman first. So, we've had a pair of what I've been told were incorrectly sprayed T60 TVs. So they weren't meant to be making these in the sunburst finish, but there was a bit of a cock up at the factory, and now we have sunburst ones. So these are very cool. Pretty much, if you're looking at one of these and wondering why it's different to the T64, so. You have to think about the construction. So this is pretty much like a center block, so it's a semi-hollow guitar, not fully hollow, like the T64. It's got a, a longer neck joint on there, so you can actually reach the upper register. And it's got P90s, which would be an unusual combination. So this is a very cool guitar indeed, and it sounds really nice too. It's got killer lot of pickups in there. Now, let's go and check out some Epiphones. These are guitars that I remember talking to the boss about when we were ordering them, and I was really excited to see them, and we've had three of them in. So these are Epiphone inspired by Gibson Custom 63 Firebird. So the left and right ones are Firebird 1s, and the one in the middle is a Firebird 5 in frost blue, which is my favorite of the three, actually. Oh, love that. It's almost got a sort of greeny hue to it. It's absolutely gorgeous in the flesh. It actually looks like an old guitar as well, you know, just the way the, uh, the colour's gone. They've done an incredible job with it and they all play really nicely too. Okay, final guitars we're going to check out. We've had two of the Mike McCready strats in. So we've got one in the cabinet there, one right here. 
Now, I've been very excited to see one of these. These are the first ones we've had in, so look at those. I think the, you know, the job they've done on the aging is absolutely incredible, and they're extremely consistent as well. All the little details, like the mismatched knob colours and things like that on there. These are really cool guitars. And if you're a bit of a Pearl Jam fan, this is sort of a must-have, really. Ooh, check that out as well. We've got some gorgeous flame on the back of the neck there, too. Okay, well, that's it from the weekly roundup. I hope you've enjoyed watching. If you want to check out any of the guitars shown in today's videos, the links will be in the description below.